We are now looking at question 10 from exercise 14.6, congruency proofs. In this question, we are told that ABC is an equilateral triangle. Now, because we know it's equilateral, we should really put little markers on those sides. I'll just put a little marker there um, and a little marker on the next side. Um, I do want to put a marker on the base, which is AB, but we're going to be asked to construct CD, which is the bisector of angle C. So look, oh, look I will put that line, but it might get, um, might sort of get taken over when I bring CD in. So we know that ABC is equilateral, so of course equilateral triangles have um, three equal sides. Um, we actually have to prove that in this equilateral triangle that angle A equals angle B. Now we can't say it's equilateral, all angles are 60, we're not allowed to say that. We're being asked to prove, the only information is that it's equilateral, in other words three equal sides, and we're being asked to prove that two of the angles are equal, in other words that angle B equals angle A. Okay, so it tells us first to um, construct CD, which is the perpendicular bisector of C. Now we can't do this proof to show that angle A equals angle B unless we've got congruent triangles, congruent triangles. And at the moment we've only got one triangle. So this is why we're constructing CD. So I'm just going to bring CD in. Now we're told that um, CD bisects is the bisector of angle C. So we just have to keep that in mind. Um, just be careful of this little marker here there because that means that AB is the same as the other two sides. So we can say that in um, triangle, we need to say which triangles we're talking about because we've just formed two triangles. So in triangle ADC and and triangle um, B, D, B, D, C. Um, we know that um, we can see that in these two triangles, A, D, C and triangle B, D, C, I mean we can already see two things, that A, C equals B, C. Um, reason is that they are sides of an equilateral triangle. Now we can't say given because the markings were not on the diagram. Um, we were told that it was an equilateral triangle and then hence from there we are then allowed to say well the three sides are equal. But for this part of the question we only need to say that AC equals BC. Okay. Now the other um, thing that we did in this question was we constructed CD which bisects angle C therefore angle ACD will be equal to angle BC. C, D. So we can say that now and we'll just put that in there now. So angle A, C, D is equal to angle B, C, D. Um, we can put little symbols in there for that. So I'll put a little circle in there. Oh, not quite a circle, it's more a little um, ellipse but that's okay. They're equal. They're just angle markings, so those two angles are equal. So at the moment we can see that we've got a side and a side and these two angles are equal. Um, we can also see in our triangle that we've got a common side, CD. So that will be the next thing that we say, is that um, um, CD is a common side. So you should really put markings on there so that your explanation will become quite visual. Um, I might move this other marking here from this other side because I don't really need it. So what we've got, and you should put it there. And you can quite clearly see now that you do have side, angle, side. So side, angle, side. So therefore the two triangles will be congruent by side, angle, side. And now that the two triangles are congruent, we can see that this angle down here at B and this angle up here at A um, are corresponding or matching angles of congruent triangles. So we can put that in next and hence 
we've proved that angle A equals angle B um, because they are matching angles of congruent triangles. Um, and that's the end of question 10A. Okay, now for question 10, part B. In this question, we are told that ABC is an equilateral triangle and we'll just mark in the equal sides once again in this triangle. But just keep in mind that we're going to construct AE, which is the bisector of angle A. So we know that AB is equal to side AC, which is equal to side um, BC. But the other thing that we need to construct is to construct AE. So I'll just put that in now. Now AE is the bisector of angle A. So angle BAE will equal angle CAE. Okay, now let's start with this proof. We, we have to prove that angle B is equal to angle C. So we can see here that AB equals AC, which equals BC, but we're only, um, to, we can see that we've got two triangles, triangle ABE and triangle ACE. So we're working in those two triangles. Now, this um, proof is pretty much identical to the proof in 10A. So I'm just going to run through that very, very quickly because it's already been explained in part A. So um, what we've basically got is that um, AB equals AC because they are sides of an equilateral triangle. Um, we also know that angle B... AE equals angle CAE. The reason is that AE bisects angle BAC. Um, we can also see that AE is a common side of the um, two triangles. And there are our three pieces of information. So therefore triangle AB, sorry, ABE is congruent to triangle ACE. And that is because we've got side We've got these two angles in at the top, which you really should mark in. I haven't done it. And we've also got this last side here, which I can just quickly mark. Um, so we've got side angle side. So now because those three, um, because the two triangles are congruent, we can now say that this angle down the bottom, angle B, is the corresponding or matching angle to angle C. So angle B equals angle C because they are matching or congruent, um, sorry, corresponding angles of congruent triangles. Now to look at part C of the question, it says hence show that each angle in an equilateral triangle is 60 degrees. Now if we remember back to part A, we actually proved that angle A equals angle B. And in part B, we've proven that angle B equals angle C. So therefore, we've really shown that angle A um, equals angle B, which equals angle C. And now we're just going to write that out. So angle A equals angle B, proven in part A above. And angle B equals angle C, proven in part B above. Therefore, we can say that angle A equals angle B, which equals angle C. Um, the reason is that B is common to both A and C. But we also know that angle A, all of that, plus angle B, plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees because it's the angle sum of a triangle. Now, because those three angles are also equal, we can say, well, angle A equals angle B, which is equal to angle C, is equal to 180 divided by 3, which is equal to 60 degrees. And hence, we've shown that each angle in an equilateral triangle is 60 degrees. And that's the end of question 10.